Hey, hi again. Most of you ask about how to share your designs as a library or a template, and so the rest of the Pembo users can use it. Well, in this video, we are going to review how to create a shared library with an example, and we'll see all the options you have to share it with the community. Let's go for it. The first step is to create a design. It can be anything from a template to a set of icons or illustrations, anything uh, that you think will be useful to other users and that uh, you want to share. In this example, uh, we see several screens of a podcast app uh, with the components that you see here in the assets, properly bundled and yeah, ready to use. I have also prepared a color palette which is here, and some typographic styles. Once we have the main content of the library ready, uh, we have to make it look good, preparing um, a cover that properly represents the content of your library, either using images of elements of the library itself or a text that describes it uh, will be helpful. You can look for inspiration in the library section if you need it. A highly recommended step is to make some instructions about what your library is and what it can be used for and how it should be used. Uh, this step is not mandatory but will help other users to use your, your work properly. Here is an example of uh, the material design library which is available too, and here you can see that uh, in this page mm, we describe the table of contents, what is the material design, the pimple library, etc. All files shared with the community are licensed under Creative Commons by 4.0, but some files has third-party uh, content like assets, images, they are licensed with other open source licenses or third-party licenses, okay? In this case, you can add the license in the file or when you upload it to the repository. Here we have an example of the core UI, which uh, the user add a page called licensing and here are all the terms, okay? If you need more information on this topic, you can visit uh, the contributing file at the repository, okay? So here we have more info about it. We'll leave the link below. Uh, yeah, one last thing. Uh, before exporting our file, okay? Uh, we need to indicate that it's a shared library, okay? Uh, this means that it will be able to use in the rest of, of the files. How to do that? Okay, so come here to the file menu, go to file and add a shared library, okay? We agree. And here you can see that now is a shared library. Okay, so now we are ready to export our file. Uh, to do this, uh, we just have to choose the file uh, and go to the menu option, heal file, and click on the download pempot file, okay, dot pempot. Okay, once we download it, we can send our contribution in two different ways. Okay, the first one is go to the pempot files GitHub uh, repository here you can find all the contributions. Yeah, you can create a pull request in this repository by uh, uploading your file, okay? But if you don't feel very confident using GitHub or you are not a GitHub user, well, you can send your file, your .penpot file via email to uh, info at .app, okay? I know this is a lot of information. Uh, don't worry, here we have a how to contribute guide, which, uh, you know, summary all the steps that we have done till now, okay? So here you have all the info. There are more and more designs shared by users, which is incredible. Thank you so much. If you have any doubts or questions about how to create, use, or share your penpot files, let us know in the comments below. We also invite you to visit our community space. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.